This is the design of equality in oneness field, communicating about the equality in oneness field, of the unified consciousness field, of this existence of the minds that exist within and of the minds of all of humanity collectively. Um, now we, well, interdimensional beings, have communicated extensively about oneness and equality individually within and as human beings, as you stand within and as one is in equality with all of existence as who you are. Now, I'm here to describe what one is in equality is not. <laughs> now, the one is in equality that is described by the interdimensional beings is the one is in equality as you, as who you are of life. That is to be experienced by yourself. It cannot be shown, it cannot be explained, it cannot be described, yet I'm able to express what oneness and equality is not. Now, oneness and equality of the unified consciousness field exists as follows. The oneness exists as the manifestation of the universal mind, as the interview of the design of the universal mind explained and have given perspective. Um, if you want to have perspective, I suggest you watch the interview of the universal mind, the design of the universal mind. Now let's look at one is inequality together as an agreement of one is inequality um, within and of this existence of the unified consciousness field. One is inequality exists as relationships within this existence. <laughs> See, the mind is a limited device, a programmed system. And the only way for it to have an understanding, a interpretation, an attempt to comprehend one as an equality, it formed what is referred to as relationships. Now, you have two human beings forming a relationship together. Now, apparently, in a relationship, two human beings are now one and equal. Because they're, you know the statement, I'm looking for my equal. I am looking for the one. Um, you know, to spend the rest of my life with situation. So, in terms of the, the mind consciousness system within and as human beings, it is so programmed and designed that the mind cannot exist without some form of relationship, whether it be with a God separate from self, whether it be a God illusion separate from self, whether it be another human being, whether it be a spiritual organization, whether it be a new age movement, whether it be money. There, human beings always have a relationship with something. Now, from that perspective, that relationship connection, and you always have one. You always have, there is a point within you where you have a relationship with one something. And that one something is what is referred to as the unified consciousness field and the mind consciousness systems of all of humanity as one as an equality. I am only complete, I am only whole, and I am only fulfilled if I have a relationship with something or someone separate from me. Because have a look. How has the mind consciousness system within as human beings been designed? Incomplete, unfulfilled, empty, lonely, always missing something. And now to fill that gap, to fill that inherent natured experience of the mind consciousness systems which human beings have believed and perceived themselves to be, they have to form a relationship. Only when they're in a relationship, they're now in oneness and equality with themselves. So that has been the mind, if you see K, of this entire existence. That you're only oneness and equality, which means you're only one and equal with yourself, whole, complete, fold when you're in a relationship with something or someone separate from you. Now, I'm certain that this point of observation has not yet been made by 
any human being within and of this world. But that's how this entire design of the mind consciousness system um, has been created, which then manifests the unified consciousness field. And then in the unified consciousness field, once you participate within the unified consciousness field, the only way you're going to stand in oneness and equality with the mind and the unified consciousness field of this world is if you have a relationship with something or someone separate from you. Therefore, let's say if you then have a relationship with something or someone within and of this world, you're trapped, you're enslaved, you're a goner, you're done. You are the slave to the mind, the unified consciousness field. You are in the prison of your own creation. That's where that point of connection of oneness and equality comes, relationship. Thank you very much. This is the oneness and equality field. Enjoy.